Holla peeps, it's your girl Cherie, reporting live for Cherie TV. Baby show is on. So I figure if I turn up the TV, Criminal Minds is on. It, it is an awesome show. I think it's only on for... Uh, babe, your show just came on. It's a new episode. It's a violent show, this Criminal Minds, but it's the truth. I mean, FBI... They have work on their hands. I'm sure I'm glad I didn't go in the FBI. Could you imagine? I would look twice my age. Patricia Cornwell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, All the worry. Signing books. The end of the session. Wow. Sorry. Um, hi. Wow. I am here today to talk to you about uh, paraphilias and their relation to violent crime. Say something. <laughs> Yeah. Freshman year of college, that was my plan. Yes. Do four years psych degree degrees. and go to FBI school. Could you imagine? I probably have wrinkles everywhere and stuff. And uh, that's a high the intense stress job. We actually believe that the victim I'm looking at my belly ring. I showed you guys. So excited. It's just a stud. It's not anything like ooh, extreme Larry. I like that guy, the smart young guy. He, he gets them all the time. I love it. I just started watching this. This has been on for years. Which is cool because everyone that comes on is new to me. You know what I mean? That's what's cool. Like those of you who are watching the real world right now, I have never seen it before with Alton and stuff. You know, it's like, oh, cool, I can watch a marathon. Come on, it's got to be the 2.0 version. Yeah, you would think so, but the crazy similarities in the MO. I'm talking same victimology, same geography, and two souvenirs from after the crime scene. I love my near beer, don't I, y'all? It is. Non-alcoholic beer. Have no fear. It will make your head stay clear. Stay clear, but... Writing my own like jazz standards. Same blood type as the caviar. So how long does Zodiac be by now? The murderers took place. That's what I would do in Delaware when I was singing around places and stuff. At the end of the set, I would do a blues song, just like you know, off the top. You know what I'm saying? And the band would follow me. It was so much fun. You know, I'd walk around. <laughs> Well, it takes a lot of school to get that. Hey. What you say, what you say.
say, say, say what you want, but don't play games with my affection. I wish baby would get up. I'm tired. Criminal mind. She was in, I got her into that sci-fi shit last night. First it was like ma it was it some some about some bees and movie about some bees and a movie about some snakes. And then later on the night there were probably some other ones, but I was zonked. I couldn't do it. You know, I wrote out a list of things that I have to do that I'm working on. Peace. Ten projects your girl's working on. Ten. I'm glad I wrote it out. You know what I mean? So I can look at it and see what I have to work on. It's a lot of shit to work on. But I'm going to tell I love my work. I love my work. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, Gregory, I'm not that type of girl. You know, my friend Gregory. I asked him how he liked um Sharif TV. You know his his answer was y'all. He said the sound is good. I said nobody gives a shit about the sound. How do I look? And he was like, you know, a woman looking like you know like you. I figured that was a given. No, that ain't no goddamn given. Shit. I'm not like the those other girls. You may you maybe that you're thinking about. You know what I mean? Shit. I need encouragement from my friends. My friends back in Delaware. You know when they see me, Mark will say. Wow, you look, you look awesome, you know? When he comes out here to visit, he'll be like, you look awesome. And I'm thankful and grateful for that. But it concerns me, you know? That's maybe why some men are single, you know? Don't be afraid to give a woman a compliment. She might need that. See, that was part of my daddy's charm. And he passed it on to me because I watched him. You know, if he was in a restaurant and the waitress was was uh, looking sad, but she was beautiful, he would say, you look very nice today. And he taught that to me. You know, he said, when you see someone, you're, it's, when, you're when, you go out to, when you go out to eat, okay, and you see the waitress, no matter what she looks like, say something nice to her, because you can make her day. And that's what I think men need to learn. So that would be lesbian rule number one. You know, don't be afraid to compliment a chick. You know, because not all chicks are that way. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like that. You know, I just use my friend as an example. You know what I mean? Because that kind of hurt my feelings. You know, the sound is good. Shut up. You know what I mean? I need to hear that as much as the next woman. You know? Just as much as a woman with no teeth and cross eyes. You know, drunk on the patio window. That's it. So, that's all I wanted to say. I love you guys. Gotta reach the stop button.